Hey there, I hope you're really well. It's actually quite a, a cold afternoon in May and so I've got my uh, yak wool jacket on from Rishikesh and my woolly hat as well also from Rishikesh and uh, even though I'm in Hebden Bridge and uh, I've come out to be near the river. Um, I think I'm just going to go through this bit of wall here and uh, nettles and um, I've come out to uh, put a couple of the crystals from the house. We have these uh, quite large pieces of crystal at home. And I've brought two out with me uh, and I'm going to put them in the river to clean them and, uh, and to kind of uh, give them a kind of freshen up after the winter uh, and after kind of, uh, you know, uh, sitting still for a long time at home. So uh, it's important that uh, we do what we can to uh, keep our vibration open uh, to not resisting life. It's very easy that we, we build up stresses and strains in the body. And uh, Scott, sorry, I'm kind of stepping down big steps. Um, we, we pick up resistances in the body and stresses in the body and, uh, uh, and in our environments. And, um, and simple things like coming out for a walk in nature, being next to water, being amongst the trees, being in the green. Because these things are kind of not resisting life themselves, we kind of uh, pick up the energy and uh, uh, our, our kind of resistances go down so that we can kind of be, just be more part of things. And, and this is how, uh, how we can live a lot sort of simpler and better. I've been really lucky that, uh, well not lucky actually, <laughs> I've worked very very hard to um, to make sure that I've got the space and the time that I need most days uh, just to be able to kind of uh, stay in a high vibrational place and uh, it's interesting when we when we use language like that because you know language is so terribly inaccurate it's not that we're we're raising uh, the vibration of our soul or anything because that's all that's already at kind of like the ultimate kind of universal kind of so high that it's not vibration anymore it just isness you know but uh, our bodies vibrate at a certain energy level and uh, and we get blockages in those energy streams and it's just pure physics actually which is why kind of crystals really work i used to be very skeptical about crystals uh, but it makes absolute kind of sense from the level of, of just simple physics actually that they kind of uh, You bring things that vibrate in different ways into your environment and it changes the environment so um, and it's the same with kind of Entraining ourselves is that a good word or uh, um, Healing ourselves by being in nature or by uh, finding music that kind of brings us real joy rather than kind of activating the pain body um, and that's not about being worthy and kind of listening to, to kind of things to kind of fit into some kind of lifestyle but actually genuinely finding what kind of opens you up you know and, and that's for, for each of us to kind of do ourselves as part of the work um, you know me nothing should ever be about lifestyle it should always be about life that's one of my sayings uh, that I say to myself in my own head <laughs> but um, yeah so I'm down by the river and amongst the trees and uh, that sounds like the beginning of a Mary Oliver poem but uh, I'll just give you a little look around this way down the river look at that stunning so uh, yeah I, uh, uh, I've got myself a, a couple of free hours uh, I'm happy to find and, um, and so I'm just gonna be out here uh, doing whatever I do <laughs> it's nothing really just kind of a uh, pootling about in a kind of a nice open-hearted state so let me wish you love and uh, hope you have a beautiful day and uh, speak to you very soon see you later <laughs>